The main reason to see Blonde is the astonishingly good performance of Anna de Armas as Marilyn. She truly inhabits the character, and in this film looks so much like her that you can barely tell them apart. Blonde is a brilliant but disturbing blend of fact and fiction, a creatively filmed nightmare that so vividly portrays her tragic life that sometimes it's hard to watch. Marilyn Monroe's birth name was Norma Jean Mortensen, the daughter of a mentally ill woman who abused her. She never knew her father. As a young woman trying to break into acting, Norma Jean was raped by a Hollywood producer who hired her. Her entire life was marked by abuse and trauma. As filmmaker Andrew Dominic says, she was an unwanted child who became one of the most wanted women in the world known to the public as Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn doesn't exist. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma Jean. I'm still her when the camera is rolling. Marilyn Monroe only exists on the screen. I know you're supposed to get used to it. And we all lose our jobs in the end. But I just can't. The movie covers her failed marriages with retired baseball great Joe DiMaggio and with playwright Arthur Miller. I love the stunning creative cinematography of Blonde. In this scene, the use of Norma Jean's dressing room mirror is sheer cinematic magic, as she struggles to get into character as the blonde bombshell her success depended upon. Please come, don't abandon me. She's coming. <laughs> Not everything in the film works, and it's too long at 2 hours and 47 minutes, but since it's on Netflix, you can watch it in more than one sitting. And if the tragic story becomes too much, you can always just turn it off. But do give Blonde a try. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.